वॉम वेलकम टू डब्ल्यू एस क्यू टेक सो गाइज इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव कवर्ड वट आर सब प्लॉट इन आर मैट प्लॉट लिव इन आर डे सेशन विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट थ्री डी प्लॉट सो गाइज सो फार वी वर लर्निंग अबाउट टू डी प्लॉट विच हैज एक्स एक्सेज विच हैज वाई एक्सेज नाउ इन टू डे सेशन विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द जेड एक्सेज एज वेल दैट मीन्स वील बी क्रिएटिंग अ थ्री डी प्लॉट ओवर हियर सो वी वॉन्ट बी गोइंग इन द ब्रीफ डिटेल्स बट आई बी गिविंग यू अ ब्रीफ आइडिया ऑफ हाउ अर थ्री डी प्लॉट लुक्स लाइक एंड वील बी क्रिएटिंग वन और टू ऑफ देम एज वेल सो लेट्स हैव अ लुक ऑन हाउ अर थ्री डी प्लॉट लुक्स लाइक टू क्रिएट अ थ्री डी प्लॉट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल इम्पोर्ट द library so we'll be importing import matplotlib dot pi plot as plt we'll also import numpy so import numpy as np once we have imported both of them i'll just first of all show you that how the 3d plot looks like like we'll be just opening the empty plot over here so for that i'll be writing figure is equals to plt dot figure open close the parentheses and i'll be defining the axis over here just to show that how the empty plot looks like so ax is equals to plt dot axis and projection what kind of projection we want we want a 3d projection as of now so i'll be writing projection is equals to 3d now let's run and see what output we will get over here so this is the 3d projection basically we have x axis y axis and the z axis over here this is how a 3d projection looks like so you can see on the three side we have three kinds of ticks as well now what we will be doing next next we will be plotting a plot over here let's have a look on how to plot a plot for that first of all i'll import the libraries again along with these libraries we will be also importing matplotlib toolkit so we'll on the top i'll be importing import mpl mpl over here stands for matplotlib toolkit i'll be writing toolkit so actually i'll be writing from matplotlib toolkit we'll be importing mplot 3d so once we have imported all of them we'll be going for our x axis y axis and the z axis so x is equals to i'll be creating an array over here so mp dot array and i'll be passing some elements for example we have 1 comma 5 comma 3 comma 4 comma and i'll be taking so uh, uh, let's say 10 data over here so we have 5 and 5 10 data right similarly we'll be taking y axis as well so y is equals to np dot array and here i'll be passing another list of elements so So I'm just taking some ten random values here, and in the z, I'll be taking np dot ones. If you remember, in the numpy, we we have talked about ones function, which gives us all the values, all the arrays of one value only. That means if you write np dot ones five, then it will create an array in which every element will be one number. The number one number means not uh, any one number, but just the one number, the one digit itself will be over there. Okay. So np ones, and here I'll be passing ten, so it will create an array of ten elements where every digit will be one. Okay. After this, we'll be writing figure is equals to plt dot figure. Open close the parentheses. Sees ax is equal to plt dot axis, and here we'll be passing projection. That our projection would be three D. So we have to plot first of all. Let's talk about plotting a line plot over here. So plt dot. So we have to plot ax dot plot three D. We are going to plot a three D line plot where we'll be passing x comma y comma z, and we'll be writing plt dot show. Open close the parentheses. So if I run it, this is how the output looks like. Here, if you want to define the marker as well, that at each point there should be a marker. You can define the marker as well over here. So you can write comma marker is equals to green. And if we run it, no, actually marker should be O over here. Color should be green. So you can see over here we have O marker. And if you want to define the color, then color is equals to green. Okay. If you want to define the MEC, you can define the MEC as well. That means marker edge color, marker edge color. Let's say is yellow. And if I run it, so we get a marker of edge color yellow. So this is how we can plot a line plot which is in 3D. Similarly, if you want to plot a bar plot over here, we can plot a bar plot as well. Let's have a look on how to plot a bar plot over here. So over here, I'll be picking the same data from here, and I'll just paste this data here. After this, I'll be taking different sizes over here. So let's define sizes. So x size is equals to np dot ones and ten over here. I'll be passing a y size is equals to np dot ones. Again, I'll be passing ten here and z size is equals to np dot. I'll create an array in this case. So I'll just write some elements. So because we have ten elements, I'm just passing any ten elements here, and I guess I've got ten of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So we have ten elements here. Now same thing we'll be doing like uh, over here. What we have done. So we'll be taking the figure and the axis from here, and I'll just paste this data. After this, we have to plot a plot over here. So for that, I'll be writing ax dot because we want to plot a bar plot over here. We'll be writing bar, and in 3D we have to plot it. So we'll be writing 3D. I'll be passing all the three axes, x comma, y comma, z. I also be uh, writing the sizes over here. So x size comma y size 
comma z size and i'll write plt dot show open close the parentheses okay there is some issue with the axis has no attribute bar 3d let me write it in small d over here and we have a bar plot over here you can see we have a bar plot so a bars have been plotted over here on the x axis y axis and the z axis so this is how you can plot a 3d plot over here here you can provide with the sizes as well that what size of a plot you want and and if i talk about the line plot you don't have to define the sizes over here also you can define with the uh, you can give a different functions over here which are basically there so we can if i press uh, shift plus tab it will give me all the other functions that it has so we can give it a color we can give it a shade we can uh, give it if i give shade is equals to true let's see what happens so i'll write shade is equals to false so i guess right now the value is true and if i run it and it's true false so this is how the bar plot looks like and i guess it looks better with true only so if i run it so we'll get the value in true if you want to define the color we can define the color as well so color is equals to let's say red and if i run it so we'll be getting a plot of red color over here so i hope you guys have no doubts in the question that uh, how we can plot a 3d plot over here it, it was just to give you a basic detail idea that you should know how to plot a 3d plot over here so i hope guys you guys have no doubts in the questions in our next session we'll be talking about how to save a figure in our matplotlib like with the help of matplotlib we can uh, save a figure in our laptop as well so stay connected guys and i'll see you in the next session thank you